Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the J-Man, and I'm back here today with something pretty epic. As a lot of you may or may not know, this past Sunday, a bunch of brand new wrestling figures came out for Target. And by a lot, I mean a lot. I'm not getting all of them, but I did get, in my opinion, the three best ones. Now, I couldn't go to my local Target when they came out, but I did order them the day they got released on the website. And here they are. First up, the second pay-per-view limited edition, Target exclusive, and it's Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, when she won the Owen Hart tournament two years ago. Can't believe it's been that long already. I love this figure. Love that belt. Love this metallic pink foil all around here and on the lettering. But wait, that's not all. I also got the brand new Series 23 Legends Hulk Hogan. I wanted to get this figure the moment I saw it because this is how Hulk Hogan looked when he did the Real American music video. And if you don't know what that is, or haven't seen it, go see it. It's right here on YouTube. And last, but certainly not least, the Ultimate Edition, also Target exclusive, like the rest, Undertaker. What's really awesome about this Taker figure is that it's actually below retail right now. For some reason, hope I'm not jinxing it, this figure is $22.99. Now usually, Ultimate Edition figures are 32 to 38.99 retail and maybe ringside collectibles so to get a brand new exclusive ultimate edition figure for 22.99 is the bargain of a century and you didn't have to wait for a sale or clearance and once again i repeat there are a lot more exclusive figures than these not only do we have the exclusive Britt baker but there's an exclusive two-pack of Moxley and MJF. There's the rest of these figures in the line. Big Bubba Rogers, Rosie, and Jamal. As well as the new Ninja Turtle WB figures. Kofi, also Xavier, and Roman in the line. Just the first wave. I think that's it for what's coming out now. But to have all those exclusives go to one store at the same time. Mind-blowing. But like I said, these are the ones I picked up. These are the ones I thought were the best. And these are the ones I will be reviewing right now. Let's start off with Hulk Hogan for this video. And my next video will have Brit. And then the next video after that will have Taker or vice versa. Either way, here we go. And we're back. Here is once again Legend Series 23 Target Exclusive Elite Hulk Hogan. And let's take a closer look at the packaging. This beautiful, unique Legends packaging, which I wish they would reuse for all the elites going forward. I don't mind if they change the colors or whatnot. Just this is perfect. Just all the figures should be in this packaging. Playable My Faction character locker code inside. I'm not going to use it at all. I don't do the My Faction in WB2K24. So if anybody in the comments below wants it, private message me either here on YouTube if they still do that. If not, go on my X account or Instagram and let me know if you want it. And I will give it to you. First come, first serve. So here's Hogan packaging with that guitar. And the best part about this guitar, it doesn't break. So you can actually have him hold the guitar and not have it fall to pieces. Side picture of Hogan with those big glasses like Macho Man would wear. Their side. And on the back, WB Champion. And this re-up is pretty interesting. It's basically the lyrics to the song. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside, he's gotta take a stand. 
it don't help to hide. If you hurt his friends, then you hurt his pride. Now this part I keep misinterpreting. I kept thinking it said he's got to be a man when it actually is he's got to lend a hand. The more you know. It don't help to hide. Now this part, not in the song, but it goes Hulk Hogan's a real American. And then this part continues the song. He fights for the rights of every man. His name was never in the song. Hulk Hogan's a real American and fights for what's right, fights for his life. Except the song is fight for your life. And here he goes, you get in line. Hogan, Big Bubba Rogers. If you don't know who that is, that is the big boss man before he was the big boss man. And there's a chase variant of this figure with a blue shirt. Barely a difference. So lazy. Rosie, the late great brother of Roman Reigns. And Jamal, who later became Umaga, a beast of a wrestler. And another legend gone too soon. Well, these guys are part of 3-Minute Warnings. But now, without any further delay, let's get this real American brother out of the packaging by having the figure in the packaging come crashing down so it hurts inside for the figure to come out of said packaging and here is Hulk Hogan ready to rock out out of the packaging now allegedly Mattel has added something new to the packaging that I didn't notice at first if you look in the back of the window right there. They have now started putting the same picture of the superstar that you see here in the background. A nice touch, very unique to each packaging. I like it. And just a reminder, I do have the code right here. So if anybody, so if anybody wants it, come message me. But enough of that. Let's take a closer look at Hulk Hogan's awesome accessories, then him, and then a quick comparison. Let's start off with his main selling accessory, his badass all-American guitar. And like I said before, this is not breakaway. Although my neck over here of the guitar is a bit warped, but that's relatively minor. All the colors look very nice. The details, the silver, this leather-like strap adds to that authenticity. Next up is his standard Hulk Hogan red tank top with his Hulkamania logo. This one is not a tearaway shirt, even though in the video he did tear his shirt. But for the most part of the video, he didn't. Standard Hulk Hogan golden cross. His sunglasses. Big 80s style. Black lens. Yellow trim. Reminds me of Macho Man, but he did wear these. And last, but certainly not least, his hands. Now, this is unique. He comes with a pair of weapon holding hands. And if you notice, they are not with the glove mold. These are... And they're not the same as those hands. One is a guitar pick-like hand and a finger pointing hand. But before I re-accessorize him and do a comparison, let's take a closer look at this figure. Now without all the accessories on, he does look like a standard Hulk Hogan, with the exception of this unique look for his lower legs. Here is his face. A likeness we've seen many times in Hulk Hogan figures. He's got that accurate tan, accurate torso, big beefy arms, long red tights, these white stripes here, which make it look like he's wearing those old school 80s dad socks. Now, this boot mold's interesting. It's very weird. Although the texture is a nice touch. I've never seen cowboy boots like this where they're brown here, white here. Like I said, this was a very unique look for Hogan and accurate to the music video. And here's the back of Hogan. And I guess that's it. And here he is, re-accessorized. I'm pretty sure I put the guitar on wrong, but it's good enough for now. 
Now for that comparison. So here is the new Legend series Hulk Hogan next to another Target exclusive Hulk Hogan figure. This one, a figure I never reviewed on this channel, was the Then Now Forever 4-pack that came with Austin, Rocky Maivia, Becky Lynch, Elite Set. He didn't come with that flag. I gave it to him. The big green belt I customized. But that is it for my review of the brand new WWE Mattel Target Exclusive Elite Series 23 Hulk Hogan from the Real American Music Video. Tell me, what do you guys think? Also, what do you think about the Real American Music Video? Is it still cool? You still like it or not? Also, one more thing. Which figure should I review next? The Britt Baker or The Undertaker? Let me know all this down in the comments below. But until the next review I do, which will be one of those two, I will see you soon. Because I am a real American.